Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah Imam al-Albani rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'a mentions in his silsila sahih silsila sahiha uh, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and he says an Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu raf'ahu so this goes uh, has the hukum of Rafa to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ittaqullaha wasillu arhamakum. And the hadith is that a commandment, Ittaqullah, fear Allah and maintain the ties of kinship. Shaykh Zayd al Madhali. Rahmatullahi Rahmatin Wasiya mentions in his explanation of this hadith. He says, Al Hadith Sarih Fi Amr Bi Ibadatain Min Ibadat Al Fadila Hakullah Hakun Lillahi Azawajal Wa Hakun Lil Makhluk. So he mentions that this hadith is very clear about the command for two types of ibadah one, uh, two types of excellent types of ibadah the first is the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second is the haq of his creation he says amma haq Allah fa taqwahu wa qad wasa Allah azza wa jal biha fi muwadi' min al-Quran kathira وَمِنْهَا قَوْلِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى يَا يُلَنِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ وقال عز وجل يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وقال سبحانه يا, <coughs> يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فاز فوزا عظيما. So the Sheikh mentions as for the right of Allah, it is to fear Him, and Allah سبحانه وتعالى has commanded this in many places in His Quran, and He says and from those verses in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded this is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he says, Ya Yuladina Amanu wa taqullaha haqqu tuqatihi wa la tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you who believe, fear Allah, the full, you know, his his rightful having having the right giving him his haq, the full taqwa. And do not die except in a state of Islam. And also in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabil kareem, O you mankind, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul. And also where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabil kareem, O you who believe, fear Allah and say a truthful statement. He will rectify for you your deeds. And forgive you of your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, then he has achieved a great success. Meaning Jannah. Then the shaykh, he mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned taqwa as the best thing in the dunya wal akhirah. So in this life as well as the next, that taqwa, he has mentioned it all throughout his book that this is something that we need to take heed of and we need to strive to attain. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَنْ يَأْتَقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزَقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and whoever fears Allah, uh, he will make for him a way out. And he will provide for him 
in ways that he couldn't imagine. And then he mentions the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he could have a kareem. And whoever fears Allah, we will expiate his sins for him and make his reward great. And then the Shaykh mentions, and other than that, from the Nasus of Qur'aniyyah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands to fear him. So all throughout the Nasus of the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you'll find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands that we fear him. The Shaykh, then he mentions, وَحَقِيقُتَهَا كَمَا قَالَ بَعْدَ salaf, And he said, the reality of taqwa is what some of the Salaf said. And that is, أَن تَعْمَلَ بِطَاعَةِ اللَّهِ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ عَلَى نُورِ اللَّهِ رَجَاءَ ثَوَابِ اللَّهِ وَالتَّقْوَى تَرْقَ الْمَعَاسِيَ الْمَعَاسِيَ اللَّهِ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ خوف عِقَابِ اللَّهِ so he said that some of the Salaf, they said, with regards to the concept of taqwa, of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this, this word taqwa, he said that some of the Salaf said that it means that uh, a person is doing the acts of obedience to Allah based on the nur from Allah and seeking or yearning for his reward, the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fearing and taqwa is to leave off the sins of Allah or disobedience to Allah from the nur from Allah, fearful of the punishment of Allah. So letting us know that taqwa is adhering to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq in that. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. The Shaykh also mentions, mentions regarding this, he mentions that the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu in the hadith when he said, Ittaqullaha, he says that this means to do obedience to him and leaving off disobedience to him and adhering to his commands and avoiding his prohibitions and striving to do righteous deeds and ibtiad an munkarat al akhlaq wa qabih al af'al and he said also it is doing righteous deeds and it is avoiding and being far away from munkarat from from wickedness from wicked sins and he says, but he says, Munkarat al akhlaq He says, from wicked manners and wicked actions, ugly actions and wicked manners. And then he says, and as for the right of the creation, then this is mentioned in the statement of the hadith, Sillu arhamakum, you know, keep the ties of kinship. And he mentions that this keeping of the ties of kinship refers to keeping the ties of the family ties of those who are closest to your mother and father. You know, of course, first in, in Babel Ola, your parents. But also those people, if your parents die, their relatives, those closest to them, keeping ties with them. So it shows us the importance of maintaining the ties of kinship and that we have to do our best to be obedient to Allah and give him his rights and be uh, obedient to Allah by giving the creation their rights and especially the rights of the uh, keeping the ties of kinship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless those ulama, 
Imam Al Albani and Imam Zaid Al Madkhali, Rahimahumullah, Jami'an, with Jannah to Naim and forgive them of their sins and shortcomings and have mercy upon them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.